good Christmas morning. Romans 3.21. But now. You can almost hear a sigh of relief in those two words. Experiences teach her enough that human effort to achieve right standing before God is impossible. But now. Now comes God's words of relief. God's total answer to humanity's total failure. Paul gives us a description in verses 10, 11, and 12 of what humanity is like as God sees us. Nothing is hidden from his eyes, not our thoughts, not our hearts, not our intents, and not our motives. None is righteous, no, not one. No one understands, no one seeks for God. All have turned aside, together they've become worthless. No one does good, not even one. But now, but now the righteousness of God has been manifested apart from the law, although the law and the prophets bear witness to it. This is God's, I got you, in the face of our human failure. The gift that God gives us is the righteousness of God himself. Righteousness is a highly misunderstood concept. It's generally associated with behavior. If people are behaving in a right way, we say they are righteous. But in the book of Romans, righteousness, it's not what you do, it's what you are. This is vital because your behavior stems from what you are. The gift Paul is talking about, the gift from God, is that of a righteous standing. God is offering a gift of righteousness, his own perfect righteousness that can't be improved upon. By faith in Jesus Christ, he gives us a sense of worth and acceptance, and there could be no better news for humanity. So how do we get this gift? How do we obtain a sense of worth, a sense of value, a sense of being loved and wanted by God? The righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ for all who believe. It's, it's by faith in Christ himself that you come into this standing. He's the Savior. The gift of righteousness involves being in a relationship with him. Receiving God's forgiveness is not something we only do one time. It's something we do habitually. It, it's the basis on which we live, consistently taking fresh firm forgiveness from the hand of God. 1 John 1 9 says, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Righteousness through forgiveness is God's gift. We need to receive it daily from the hand of God. When we find ourselves slipping into self righteousness, when we find ourselves filled with pride and acting arrogantly, being critical and calloused and sarcastic toward one another, when we are feeling bitter and resentful, and let's be honest, these things are more common than we care to admit. As unholy as we can be sometimes, our relationship to a holy God is not affected if we acknowledge that we have sinned. We can come back and God's love is still there. He still accepts us and he highly values us. We are his dearly loved children, and that will never change, because he will never change. Heavenly Father, these words are so remarkable, we can hardly believe them, much less comprehend them. Truth be told, Lord, we struggle with this a lot. We, we just can't believe that this could be true. But this is the clear declaration of your word. And millions before us have believed these words, found them to be true, and even faced death itself with a confidence that they had nothing to fear before your throne. We thank you for that, Lord. We pray that we may continue to receive your gift of righteousness and thus find the reason to forgive each other tender-hearted and loving toward one another, knowing that we already have 
that gift ourselves in Jesus Christ our Lord, in whose name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Merry Christmas.